Willy Kadoff, what are your thoughts about the situation? My thoughts about the situation are criminal to me. That's what my thoughts are about the situation. We have been fighting this for 10 years now. We have been proven right up to now within Board Plan Ola and what we're fighting for. We have achieved what we set out to do. And it's not a case of winning or losing here. We, I, I don't want to be held as, oh, he stopped Shell. He stopped Statile. No, that's not what I want. I don't mind Statile and Shell making their profits whatever way they can make them. That's that's what they're there for. They're there to provide us with oil and gas, but not at our family's expense, which we have witnessed with the last 10 years. I, we are only here to save our environment and to save our homes and our families, which in both Planola and Shell themselves admit it, that if anything happened this pipe, we have 30 seconds to get out. Now, like anybody in their right mind, how can you sleep comfortable at night? Even though it's not there, but to think that the thoughts that they're still trying to push it on us, I think that's terrible. And Statile are, are just hiding behind Shell. I blame Statile more for it now than Shell because they're staying in the background. I mean, it's only three weeks or a month ago since Statile bought more of she Shell's shares. To kill us, I mean. That's what they're doing. I mean, they're going down the same road as Shell, which is, I think, very, very sad for us. I mean, now there's rumours that they're, they're, they're going from the land now to the bay, to our strand. Our strand that reared our kids and reared ourselves when we were young with shellfish, with all, you name it, I mean it's there. It's the most protected spawning ground for salmon and trout for going up to the river to spawn. And there they are now, there's, I don't know, is it rumours or what it is, that they're going to spend a billion or a million, I don't know what it is, on surveys. Well, I'd advise them what I advised them 10 years ago to do. I told them, it, I told them 10 years ago that it wouldn't work. I'm telling them now again that it won't work. They have two options here. So they have. Which is, I suppose, a good thing for someone to have two options. To be worshipped as only one option. They have two options here. To go and do it some other way, or do it at sea, or to kill us. Them are their two options. And I think the option they're taking is to kill us. It's looking that way. It's going to look that way if they're going to go and spend in a billion on, the, on a survey in the bay in our strand here. So I think it's scandalous what they're, what they're at. I mean, we have proved ourselves right and it has taken us 10 years of hardship and, and punishment and everything else, jailing, beating, you know, our kids being upset and everything else. And to think that Statoil are standing behind that and they know this is happening. It's, worldwide, it's a worldwide story, so nobody can say they didn't know what's happening here. So are they going bringing us down another 10 years now? We are willing to meet them at any stage. We are willing to meet anyone that wants to talk to us. We are not here. There's no gains in this for us. The only gain we want to get out of this is to protect our area and protect our community. I don't want to be held, as they do tell me here, the guards and everyone, that I want to become a hero. I don't want to become a hero. I just want to be left the way I was before Shell came here. I'm not doing this to become a hero. And, I, and as I said before, it's, I don't want to be saying as winning or losing. There's no winning or losing here for anybody. I think it's all a, a loss for Shell and for Statel and for ourselves. So I think it's time to talk and talk since before it's too late. That's my opinion because the, the, the end result is going to be if Shell are going to try and push and Statel are going to push a raw gas pipeline through our strand or through our community, it's going to finish up in deaths of the community. So please let somebody listen to us. I'm asking for somebody to listen to us with the last 10 years. I, I would like to send a message to Mr. Helgelun, that's manager of Statile, or that's over Statile, to please listen to the people here before he's too late. You know, because I found the people in Norway that were decent people, respectable people when I was there. You know, I, I trusted them that Statile would really stand up for us. You know, I thought Shell were the bad ones at the time. But uh, I'm coming to believe now that Statile are just as bad if not worse you know what they're putting us through I mean I mean I know I, I know it's up to our own government probably but our own government are corrupt everybody in the world knows our, how our government work and I mean this planning permission should be thrown out as soon as it all was known as being wrong but they're still our board plan all are still giving them time you know so I asked the people in Norway and the managers of Statile to come and talk to us and help us before it's too late. So that's a message I want to get out to him. And I beg him and I, I plead with him to do something before it's too late. 
you know, there's no point in saying in, in two years' time or in three years' time, you know, we didn't think this was going to happen. It's going to happen. People are going to die. They have, it's, it's something like Northern Ireland. I mean, they started off in Northern Ireland going back 30 years ago with something small like this. And it has taken 30 years to resolve it now. Now, all governments are getting together at the moment trying to resolve Northern Ireland after thousands and thousands of people have been killed, homes blown up, all that type of thing. All our governments now are involved. They're ignoring everything else. They want to get this solved, you know, that it has gone on too long. I'm here and we're here trying to solve this before it goes any further. So I'm asking somebody to listen to us before it's too late. I mean, we're going to go down the same road as Northern Ireland if this continue. I mean, you can only be pushed so far. Especially with something so dangerous as this, you have to stand up and you have to give your life for your kids and your grandkids and your community. That's the way I see it. That's what happened in Northern Ireland. The people seen the wrong and they gave their lives. So please let somebody listen in time before we have to go down this 30-year road.